Hey, hey, hey. Happy Saturday to everyone. Hope everyone have a good one. But let's get into this. So, Creo Bay and Mucker did a video together after Love by Erica did her videos of speaking on why Mucker has not been a good father and been a deadbeat. Um, allegedly. I'm going to say allegedly, but that's what she said. She said he ain't been doing nothing. He just made the videos, pocketed the money, and so forth and so forth, right? Okay. So, that, um, Creel Bay came on saying nobody can tell their story that she hasn't been telling nobody their business, and she say Mucker hasn't been telling nobody their business. Bunch of, bunch of clownery. Bunch of clownery with them, too. All these people just clownery. It's just like, they wanted to address the stuff and make it seem like uh, Love by Erica is just making up stuff to, for video and content and putting on and just telling lies, basically. But my thing is this, right? Why did you two link back up after one thing about it, two things for sure. They don't have to address their reason of getting a divorce or him. Or they, they never came on and addressed why they you know, got a divorce or why they leaving each other. But she did make it seem like that it was too much Chris and too much drama and too much stuff going on as far as the drama on the internet that part of the reason why and people emailing her and all that crap that what Creole said that's part of the reason why they got a divorce and you know it's, we know it's more to it but hey I really don't care but they can come on here every time it love by Erica say something they can come on and address it but they don't want to address the elephant in the room which is why they are getting why they not together anymore um they both said to me, they both, all of them is, really. I'm going to tell you why they both, all of them said to me, because it's all for smoke and mirrors, it's all for cloud, it's all for views, it's all to receive money from it. Because you said that you were done with him, your mom came on, Creole Bay mom came on, did a video speaking, you know, telling about people bothering her daughter and this and that about the marriage and this and this and this and this and that, right? But then all of a sudden now that, that Erica came back out, y'all want to do a video together after all this time. Y'all want to come back together just to come against Erica for speaking on how she feel about some stuff. Now I'm gonna say this. I'm not a fan of none of these people, right? I just do the commentary. I don't know these people. I don't dislike these people, but I'm just not a fan. And like I wouldn't hang with them. I wouldn't deal with them or nothing like that. In my, if I if I ever came across them in my real life, right? Which I'm not, you know. But it's just that I'm not trying to say that love by Erica was mine about everything. Um, she she brought it, she was telling hell of truths. Like some of the stuff she was saying was true. Some of the stuff she was saying was BS. You know what I'm saying? Like, this what you could tell. What I could tell. But they just either hear this in my opinion, allegedly. Okay, I'm going to say allegedly. But when it came to him, Mucker being sorry and not want a parent, yeah, I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. I believe all of that part, okay? But when she was got to talk about Mucker, and I believe that Mucker be playing offense and being messy like a woman. And being um, putting putting people against each other by going by talking about Rio Bay, and she then he'll go back and talk about a little by Erica, and the vice versa with Erica when it come to Mucker, she go back and talk about Mucker, and then she go back and talk about Cry. It's all the same recycle book crap, right? But it's just mighty funny to me that they all that they want to come together now to go against what Love by Erica said, but they did not really dress nothing. They didn't really address nothing. It, it was really, it was really stupid because the only thing they was talking about how she was trying to say that she knew what was going on in their marriage. This is the only thing they wanted to address. Creole Bay did not want to address him recording her son or talking about her son to other people or nothing. She didn't want to address the real serious such stuff. She just wanted to address him, Love by Erica saying stuff about their marriage. Of course, he going to talk to Love by Erica. He was just in her face. What? couple of weeks ago, last month or something, until they fell out when she got to calling him out about not helping with their child and not and not being there and being a father and helping and paying for nothing. Yeah, so that's the only reason that y'all got back together. Y'all got together to come up against um, Love by Eric. And, and it's really, you should have kept, one thing I'm going to say about it, Creole should have just kept quiet and kept on moving on with her, what she was doing. 
because you now all of a sudden you want to dress, you want to come together with Muck. Even Muck, he, he, he could have kept quiet and keep doing what he been doing. It's like because it just like me bring more fire to the thing. We already know that Erica gonna do this series and keep on running these series into the ground because she been doing this for years. So we not surprised by her, but you snoop it down to the level that you know that some of the things that she said struck a nerve in both of y'all because y'all had to come together and do a video and pay her attention. Instead of paying her dust. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's what I got from it, right? Um, Love by Erica was just saying that she got recordings and stuff like that. But like I say, Love, Love by Erica ain't no better. I've been saying it. I, ain't, I don't agree with none of, these, none of these people. I don't agree with it. Now, I do agree with him doing better for his child and doing what he's supposed to do. But it's on him. Okay? That's the only thing I can say. That's on him to do better by his child. But all the other crap, I don't agree with. You know, I don't agree with because it's always the back and forth, the back and forth. And I'm not, I don't feel sorry for Creole back because she the one put herself in that predicament by, by dating these two men that she knew that love by Erica had. Cry first, then she went. It'd be different now. Cry, she did. But then she went to a second baby daddy. Um, yeah, it's crazy. You did it to yourself, but then want to act like you innocent and people are scratching you out and bothering you. You put yourself in that predicament by dating these two men. And then going and doing videos with them all on YouTube, making it seem like I was in fairy tale land. When it was BS, it was smoke and mirrors. Um, but on that note, I'll see y'all in the next one. It'll probably be a part two. Y'all let me know if y'all want me to do a part two. Watch the video all the way through. Hit that like button. But because um, Love by Erica did touch on some couple of things when it came to um, somebody paying her $600 every week to to confide in or counsel her or whatever. Like, girl, mm -mm -mm. you need, you, you're just crazy. The only reason you're saying something about it is because the woman is going around giving off the information. But if the woman would never came out with the information, you wouldn't even told off about that. You wouldn't say that you were getting money from this woman or nothing. But anyway, on that note, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.